right, it's finally in. I think this is what it is. It has to be. I haven't ordered much else, but there should be a new pull starter for the Minari. All right, so here's the problem that's been happening with my pull starter. So it didn't always want to engage. It didn't always want to engage. So you could kind of pull it sometimes and it wouldn't turn the motor over. Um, and then sometimes even if you weren't pulling it out, but maybe a foot or two, it would uh, not want to go back in. You'd have to reach your hand back down behind, try to get it to start winding up. Um, it was just really sloppy. So it is pretty easy to get into. What I did is I just flipped this up out of the way. So it has a, like an aluminum back here and you can see it just a couple of screws at the top and then some down a little bit further and then down a little bit further. This one's uh, kind of walled out. I'm going to take it out here. I bought replacement screws for all these. They had a mix. I'm not the original owner and so there was a mix match of screws in here and so I went back and got all the same so they'll be all together. But anyway, take that off. Now you can see I've already taken this off. Um, it's pretty easy. The original here, or at least the one that was on here, just had three um, um, bolts here, 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 and here. Um, it did not come off as easy as planned. So when I started to use the Allen wrench to take it off I had a good tight fit in there but it wallowed out this top one here um, and this one this one I just barely barely got out but these top two were wallowed out so I tried my usual trick I took a torque bit and hammered it in to the just a little bit larger torque size bit than what the the Allen uh, head was and uh, drove it in so it got good and tight tried to twist it over again or to turn it still would not work what I ended up having to do let me see if I can find them here uh, all right so I don't know if it's a focus well enough or not but you can see kind of stripped out um, I took my Dremel tool and I just cut a notch right here and that allowed me to get um, that allowed me to get a, a notch and then I could put the chisel kind of in an angle right like that and then use a hammer to, to keep driving it and um, eventually to turn it and it, it took forever I didn't think there'd be Loctite in it I don't know if you can see um, it almost looks kind of a pinkish color and so I think that they had red Loctite on there and that is the reason uh, why it didn't want to come out. Um, if I had known that, if I'd thought rather than having to to do this number, I could have probably used a heat gun um, and heated up that part of the motor and the bolt, and it would it might have come out easier. I just didn't know it. Live and learn. So of course now the bolts bolts are out. You can see of course this uh, cord just kind of goes up uh, out of here and up through the pulley here and then up to the top so we're just going to take this handle off Let's see if we can get that see that part just slides out um, and then you have not in there I'll just take that out and cut that off and then I can thread it back through and I'll be ready to put the new one in So here is the original, and here is the replacement. And you can see the, I say original, it's the one that was on it. Again, I'm the second owner, um, or I, I guess there could be more than that before me, but I'm not the first owner, and it only has a place for three bolts. The replacement came right from uh, from uh, Mini Plane USA, yeah, from Chad there, and it's, this is supposed to be the direct replacement, but it has a place for four bolts. Shouldn't be the bad, good deal. But here, I don't know if you can see this. Um, you can see that that, it moves around, it's really sloppy. And so I think that's what was making those uh, arms not engage. 
um, when you would pull it sometimes. Um, this one you can see there's no movement, there's no play at all. Then I should be able to feed this up through the pulley. Hard to do one handed. Alright. And then that will be ready to feed up to the top here in a moment. So let's see if we can get back here. We got it in that pulley here. And then we've got to thread it through here. Put a little bit of tension on it. Back on here. Forgot the handle. It's a pretty small hole, so I think that one overhand knot should do it. And it should be, it should That's be good. Cool. We'll pull it slow. The spark plug is disconnected, but yeah, feels much better. And that's should be good to go. Good deal. 